You've been a better friend to me than I deserve, John. Thank you. The universe of Sherlock Holmes is honestly pretty vast, and as a result of that, especially in the last decade or so, the universe has grown in several ways beyond just telling tales about Sherlock. There's an anime about his brother Moriarty, for example, and now there's a live-action Netflix series about the people he occasionally calls upon to help him via The Irregulars. The show has gotten a lot of people's attention ever since it arrived on Netflix, and should a second season come, it would make fans very happy. So, if that were to happen, what would happen in said season? Allow us to show you 8 things to expect in The Irregulars Season 2. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 8. A Recap The Irregulars is a hybrid series that's part historical fiction, part mystery series, part supernatural tale, and part reimagining of Sherlock Holmes. Unlike Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's mysteries, the new Netflix series follows a group of London renegades as they collaborate with Sherlock and Watson to seal a rip in the earthly dimension that has the potential to destroy ordinary life. And that's just the start of it. We're going to get into some major spoilers from here on out, so if you haven't finished the irregular season 1 quite yet, please go do that before going on, because there's a lot to recap before we dive into what to expect in season 2. You see, throughout the season, there is a lot of twists and turns that have to do with both the Irregulars themselves, as well as Sherlock and Watson's connection to them. The most shocking takeaway from Season 1, though, is the death of Sherlock. As the rip closes, B and Watson struggle to keep Jesse and Sherlock from following Alice, the girl's mother, into the unknown and becoming trapped on the other side as well. We see Watson let go of Sherlock, sending him careening into the other dimension, in order to help B restrain her sister. Death may be a strong word, but when Sherlock has no other way to return to life on Earth, that's pretty much a death sentence. The conclusion of Season 1 is very open-ended, forcing fans to hope and pray for a second season, which has not been confirmed as of yet. Number 7. Aftermath So let's jump now into Season 2 and talk about all that is going to potentially happen should the series be renewed. The obvious thing that will need to be dealt with here is the aftermath of Sherlock's death. John Watson will obviously be the most affected by this due to the fact that it was him who let Sherlock go in order to save Jesse alongside B. Jesse also had a certain connection with Sherlock that will no doubt lead to her being distraught about his vanishing, and thus there's going to be a lot of grieving and wondering what comes next. Not the least of which is because part of the point of the Irregulars is that they work alongside Sherlock and Watson in order to solve crime. But for now, one of those two is gone. And it would be fair to say that John won't be in his best of moods for a while after this due to the loss of his partner. So with their benefactors more than likely out of commission, or at least the foreseeable future, what will become of the irregular? Number 6. Spike and Billy's Backstory The irregular Season 1 focused a lot on sisters B and Jesse. We learned a lot about their mother Alice and Jesse's father Sherlock Holmes. We also learned some of the abuse that B endured as a child. There's no doubt there's still a lot to learn about the sisters' heartbreaking, rough childhood that we have yet to discover, but we learned a lot more about their past than we did about Spike and Billy's past. We learned how Billy wasn't able to protect B because he was such a tiny child, and we also learned that he was lied to about his parents and that his mother was likely a prostitute. However, there was still very little revealed about what he endured in the workhouse, but we know whatever it was traumatized B, him, and Jesse. We also know that Spike was never in the workhouse, but we learned nothing about Spike's past. We also haven't learned how the new Irregulars group became their little tight family. The Irregulars still have a lot to tell us about all four of these characters, and fans can't wait to find out more because they've really grown fond of this group. Number 5. The Love Triangle What's a Netflix series without a love triangle, right? The first episode of The Irregulars pretty much established that Billy and B were secretly in love with each other, but too afraid to say anything. Then Leopold, aka Leo, showed up and B became bewitched by him. Around episode 4, The Irregular Season 1 shifted from the love triangle to allow B and Leo to fall in love. It also allowed Leo and Billy to stop competing for a girl and become friends. The Irregular Season 1 finale ended very badly for Leo B. Shipper fans as Leo made a sacrifice to save Billy from prison. He agreed to begin a courtship with Helena in order for his family to agree to help Billy get out of prison. This led to a very teary goodbye between Leo and B as they accepted that their romance was basically over. 
We know that the feelings are still there between B and Leo, and many would predict that season two will involve him trying to suppress those feelings to focus all his attention on Helena. Plus, season two will likely be the rise of Billy and B as a couple. With Leo kind of out of the picture, Billy and B's friendship will finally start to evolve into a romance that was teased from the first showing. But given that this is a Netflix show, you never know if they'll go that straight a path. Number four, Sherlock and Alice's return. The big irregular season one showdown had Alice return from the rift to try to rejoin the human world to be with her daughters and Sherlock. She didn't really care if it meant unleashing dangerous magic and carnage all over London. Jessie made the right decision and decided to close the rift, sending her mother back to the in-between side of life and death. Sherlock, as noted earlier, also went into the rift, and now that's going to leave a lot of questions, including could they come back? If Alice can open the rift once, there is no stopping her from trying again. We're supposed to assume that because now she has Sherlock, she won't be lonely in trying again, and this could be the case, but that would be probably too finite of an ending for these characters. So it is possible that whether it be Watson, Jesse, another of the Irregulars, or someone new who arrives in season two, they could try and open up the rift once more. Should that happen, new consequences will no doubt emerge as they try and get Sherlock and Alice back. Number three, Jesse's abilities. Jessie went through a lot in the irregular season one, but she came out of it emotionally stronger and became even more powerful. The rift is closed, so Jessie shouldn't really need to use her powers anymore, but more than likely, more supernatural dangers will pop up in season two, and Jessie will have to use her powers to stop them. Hopefully, the irregular season two dives more into Jessie's powers and their evolution. Then there's also the question of why Jessie got powers, but B did not as well as whether there's something else going on with the powers in question. Number two, Spike and Jesse. Spike revealed to Jesse at the end of the irregular season one that his biggest fear, the one that the linen man uses against him, is of Jesse being hurt or dying. Then they share a tiny moment that could imply a romantic future. It's too early to tell if the series plans to pair Spike and Jesse, especially because we also saw him flirting heavily with Leo's sister. And we also don't know yet what characters will appear in season two. The Linen Man also mentioned having a son who he wanted Jesse to marry to make more Ipsimus. So that's another thing to look out for. But given how close this Irregulars family is, we wouldn't be surprised if Spike and Jesse got closer now that Jesse only has B left family wise. Number one, the new central mystery. At present, the major mysteries of the Irregulars has been tied up involving the Rift. Something has to emerge in season two, should it come to bring back the Irregulars and maybe Watson in order to get things going again. But what will that be? We've seen that the show isn't afraid to go supernatural, so perhaps another threat there. We also know the Linen Man and how many more like him are out there in this special Sherlock Holmes world. If season two arrives, we might just find out. So what do you think? What do you think of this look of the potential season two of the Irregulars and all that needs to be answered in it and what might come from it? Did you like season one when you watched it? Who are your favorites in the Irregulars crew? What are you personally hoping for in regards to season two? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on the channel.